Aloha, this is Christian from Kona Freedivers, and I'm with Connor, and we're going to show you the Aussie Reel today. Hey, we're here to take a look at the Aussie Reels. Um, it's a really cool product uh, that uh, it's one of the best reels made, I, I believe. Uh, it's a really solid reel. I have one on my gun. Um, not only that, but they've got really, really good line too, a double jacketed Kevlar. And what's cool is they come in all kinds of crazy colors. So you got blue and pink and red, yellow, green. I've got ones missing like the classics, the grays, the blacks, the whites. Um, and I've got one mounted here so you can kind of see it. Yeah, so Connor, I see that this Aussie reel is mounted on the JBL pipe gun. Yeah. What if I have a wood gun or anything like that? Well, that's the cool part about the Aussie reels um, is that they don't uh, they don't necessarily only fit one or the other. You can make them fit a lot of different ones. One, the coolest thing about the pipe guns, you mentioned that we have one here. Uh, this is the uh, this is a custom painted uh, JBL uh, Reaper. It's a 110. Uh, it has a really really beautiful custom paint job that they did on it. As far as I know, it's a one of a kind. So we wanted to put on a reel uh, that matches that paint job, put on the on the line, kind of make it look, uh, match up with that uh, the Reaper uh, paint job there. Um, the one cool thing with this reel is you, on pipe guns like this, as long as it's kind of a standard circular pipe, you don't have to drill it. And uh, that's kind of important on some guns. You know, the Aimrite's a good example. You have a beautiful carbon gun. I don't want to put holes in it if I don't have to. So. Uh, these ones work really well on those as well as this here. I wouldn't want to put holes in this gun. It's a one of a kind. So this is uh, the Barracuda mount, and this is the one that you would use for pipe guns if you don't want to end up drilling holes in them. Uh, it's basically got these mounts here. Uh, they're a very tight fit, which they should be. Um, but what you do is you pop them on like that. Well, you first put it to the gun, then you put those on. You're going to have to take the spool off, this, this uh, spool here, which is really easy to do. Unscrew it. Um, it comes right off. Keep track of the two washers that are in there, but slide this base onto the gun and just pops right on. And then you put these on the top on both sides. And then what you do is you take these screws and you're going to be screwing them from this this side in with this off. And it, what it does is it clamps it to the uh, the barrel, so you don't have to put um, holes in it. And you would kind of think, you know, yeah, but is it is it loose? I mean, this thing is like freaking solid. It might as well be might as well be drilled on there. The other thing that they come with for this, this barrel mount is going to be these guys here. And it's basically like a, a, a rubber spacer. And uh, what you do is you put it in here. It's got two little slots. And not only does it kind of act as a dampener between the reel and the gun, so it's not, you know, roughing up the barrel, but it also adds uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of space. It takes up space in between it. So when you clamp it on, it clamps on really tight. So you can really, really clamp this down. So uh, these spacers also, they come in different thicknesses. So different guns are going to be a little bit different as far as their outside diameter. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find, uh, and actually if you contact Aussie, uh, they can fully help you figure out which one of these spacers is good to put on your particular brand of gun. And they've seen all the brands of guns, so they know what they're doing. So yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's the cool part about the, now that's the Bar Barracuda mount. Yeah. So uh, really, really cool, cool mount, uh, very unique. Um, and I know you were saying the wood gun. Yeah. So if we needed to do a wood gun, uh, instead of the Barracuda mount, we would use the Woody base. And the Woody base is pretty cool. So it's just a flat base. Now it's got all these holes in it. I don't know if you can see them. There's multiple holes. So you can kind of mount them on the bottom part of, of a wood gun. You will be drilling into the wood gun to mount this. One exception is the Rife Euro. Uh, cool thing with the Rife Euro is these two holes here go directly into the nuts that are already in the Rife Euro gun. And they actually come with these guys here. So you can either do screws, which you'd screw them into something that's not that, or if the Rife Euro, uh, you can use these and they go directly into those nuts that are already, already mounted in the gun. So yeah, super easy to mount these on wood guns. Um, so yeah, and then there's actually one more uh, mount. Yeah, you're telling me that there's that special belt reel that you get. There is. Some people yeah. like to end up having a reel on their belt. I'm not really one of them. <laughs> I, I don't want to get caught up in things, but I understand how some people use them. So what you can do is they actually have this here, which is 
it's just basically a belt uh, a belt adapter so you mount that on the bottom of this uh, when you can put slide your your belt through it and now you've got a belt rail and uh, what that does is it, it gives you a little extra safety if you're shooting a fish and it spools the reel on your gun um, or if you don't have a reel on your gun and you shoot you just want to use the one on your your uh, thing without all the weight of the reel on the gun if you shoot something big and you're not going to be able to get it in you can grab that reel clip it up to your gun and then kind of let it let it run from there right. again i wouldn't really want to do that but it is a possibility so that's another really cool thing with these so they can be mounted three different ways uh on pretty much all guns almost all guns and they actually make specific mounts too for specific make guns so um good example would be the Aimrite king venom the barrel is kind of a cuttlefish design so it, this mount wouldn't necessarily work really well but they do have one designed specifically for the king venom so that's kind of a cool way too and that way you don't have to drill into that beautiful carving gun they also have a few other things that you can do with them of course they come with line but if you really want to get into kind of customizing your reel like this one comes most of them are going to come with the color and then they're going to have the black if you wanted to do different ones you can swap those out and kind of make it your own design which is kind of cool you yeah. can kind of customize your gun as much as possible yeah and tell me what you know about the line i know that comes in a bunch of different colors two yeah. different lengths yeah yeah uh, so the i personally love the aussie uh real line the they, it's a double jacketed kevlar it's super strong for how thick it is i believe these are 1.9 mil uh is the thickness of the line uh, and it has a breaking strength of 680 pounds uh, so there's not a lot out there that's going to do that. The other good thing with this line over some of the other lines that you're going to run into uh, is it's really, really abrasion resistant. So you can tell if you don't have a really, really good knife or not a knife, but like a pair of scissors. Yeah. It's even with a good pair of scissors, this stuff's hard, hard to cut. So it's perfect line for you if you plan on shooting something big on the reef, you know, big giant Trevally, Lua's or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. And of course, it comes in all different kind of colors. I, I don't know how many colors they've got. They've got a, a bunch. <laughs> Yeah, basically the, a ton, just like the reels, you can mix and match it. The other reason that I like this stuff here uh, is you can use it as wishbones. And uh, the wishbones are something that it lasts a long time because it's super abrasion resistant. So I really like using them for those. Comes in 100 meter uh, and 50 meter. So if you've got one of those big blue water type reels, you can fill it with 100 meters. Um, most reels are gonna probably take around 50 meters in that thickness. So, uh, but yeah, so it does come with those. and super awesomely priced for for what they are yeah. um it's really hard to find good dyneema uh these things run about 57 bucks i think for a 50 meter uh but this stuff's gonna last you I mean, you're not gonna have to buy a real line for a really long time um same with the the uh the reels both the woody and the uh, barracuda runs about 129 uh which is uh a great price for a really good reel again this reel is gonna last you for a really long time so yeah i mean correct me if i'm wrong too but i don't think you've ever even heard of one breaking not that i know of no um yeah i think the only thing i've ever seen anybody uh do is they'll it, they'll take it apart or something they'll lose a knob but guess what you know you yeah. can get you can get replacements no problem right. so, yeah yeah gabriel gabriel i deal with uh, a guy named gabriel he's awesome uh he distributes it here a really cool guy uh made it super easy to bring in his product and it's super easy to, to sell his product because it's it's a good product so yeah really good stuff um yeah, so I, I actually run this. I have this reel and I have uh, this the the Aussie line on my reel, and so far it's been great. I wouldn't really want anything else on my gun. It's it's great. I agree. This is so. the go-to reel and reel line that we suggest for people coming in. Yeah, always, always. We just got a huge shipment in too. So I've got all the different colors of lines. I got all the different colors of reels. If we've got a color of reel that you, let's say you wanted the blue and the woody, and I don't have the woody in. I can swap this base with a different base and you can pretty much, we've got pretty much everything that you can get that I, that I know of that they have. So yeah, we've got a ton of them, uh, down here, Kona, Kona Honey Divers, me, Christian, we've got Sam, who's another, uh, another great, we've got Ari and Jackie who can help you out with it. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in reels and, uh, I would highly suggest these guys here. And of course we can always mount them for you. Super easy. I never charge them out. Yeah. Me neither. I like doing I learned it. from him. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, if you guys uh, want to come down and check us out, talk story, we can show you some of, uh, some of uh, well, I can show you my gun with the reel on it. That's true. Take it out in the water. Yeah, one of these days. We'll get some pictures of us using it. Yeah. So, so if you guys got any questions about it, just leave it down in the comments. Also, you could like and subscribe. That'd be awesome too. But uh, we also have other, uh, we're going to do some other videos yeah. uh, with reels, 
all sorts of reviews. So yeah, if you guys want to learn more and more about it, I'm probably going to have one coming up here real soon that we're going to do shooting lines. I know that's uh, not talked about all that much, uh, which I think we'll probably be working on that sure. next video. Uh, but yeah, right on guys. Thanks for, thanks for joining us and we'll see you around and get out there and slay some fish. Uh -huh.